Good morning, happy Wednesday. We have a meeting this morning. Um, and then tomorrow we have a seven o'clock meeting. So tomorrow we'll see, or no, I'm sorry. It's only Wednesday today. Friday, we have a seven o'clock meeting. <clears throat> you know, half hour before contract time, no big deal. It is what it is, anyway. And what it is, is silly. Um, today though, I have a meeting and I have some things I need to do, so it is 6.15. I'm gonna try to get out of here in the next five minutes. Um, yesterday, I did come back on, and it was a decent day. It was a little rough at the end of the day, but you know, it is what it is. Hold please. Today is our Wear Red Day, so I am wearing a shirt that I designed and made. Um, I bought this squiggly goo on, what's that called, Etsy, and then the rest is just font and stuff that I had through Cricut, and um, font, I don't know, do Cricut, do you do? I can't remember if Cricut, I can import my own fonts. I don't even remember. I made this a few years ago. Anyway, it's a little biggish, but I like it. It's it's good. Um, and then I'm just wearing purple Shein earrings that I got not terribly long ago, a few months ago. Anyway, um, last night we ended up going to the mailbox because we got in the car and drove there, you know, because it's so far away and we just were tired. And... Um, there were, there was only one delivery, but I was worried that there was a food delivery. I ordered the chomps through Amazon, um, their, well, Amazon. And um, I thought that they were what arrived and I could not imagine eating something that had been sitting overnight in a hot mailbox. And today, I don't know what it's supposed to be to you, temperature. 120, I don't know, something like that. Yesterday, driving home, it was 113. <laughs> it's October. It is October. Anyway. Anyway. Um, it's hot, is my point. I'm charging my ring for a few minutes because it was on very low this morning when I woke up. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Oh, the thing that came in the mail though was some essential oil that I use um, in my classroom to diffuse and um, I am glad that I got that out of the mailbox. So, I'm gonna go in today. I'm gonna copy our October um, book project this morning. Um, again, this is the product I use, I love. I've used it now, this is my second year and um, the kids are always excited to, can we work on our book project? So that makes me happy. So this one is um, a poster and a PowerPoint presentation, either or. So they really like this one, is a really good one. Anyway, I'm gonna get going and I will catch up with you, probably not today. We have PD today. I'm not sure what I'm taking because I didn't even look at the options. So need to also do that this morning, go in and choose something to take. And then <coughs> it is our early release due to that, um, but we do not have a special today. So that's another reason I wanna get in there and get my stuff done. But I will catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. We are coordinating chaos today. Are we? No, we're managing shenanigans. <laughs> That's the shirt I need. Anyway, today, yesterday, I didn't come back on because um, PD, except for technically I could have because my PD was canceled. It said there was not enough. Uh, it was an online class on Canvas. Um, and the instructor sent an email out saying that they had canceled because the seats were very limited, like the people in the class were very few. So I still feel like they could have done the class for us, but anyway, so I just worked. They said, I hope uh, you are able to find another class. There literally was nothing else because everything had already started or was, you know, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Hold please. <laughs> so
So I worked, it was great. Um, and I don't wanna live in a world where I feel bad about working at work. So I got some things graded um, and then had a quick uh, consult with a friend there. No, um, she had to leave for some personal reasons and uh, just talk to her for a little while and then it was time to go. So I did, I goed. Anyway, I am gonna get going because it's late. It's 627, who do I think I am? Today is going to be a day <laughs> that shall live in infamy. No, that will, um, it'll be a good day. We're gonna keep on with our, the progression of our articles from the, um, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time focusing today. <laughs> with the articles from the uh, second grade sassy pants, the ocean animals. I think we're on, are we on poisonous puffer fish? Maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, the kids are loving the articles. I'm loving that I can choose the level and I picked a second grade reading level so that the reading wasn't the main focus, the concept, the um, picking out the most important details, the main idea details. How do we come about, you know, saying what the main idea of each paragraph is, the whole passage, just good stuff. So we're going to continue on with that today. And that is about it. I forgot to charge my ring last night, so I'm charging it up for a few minutes again this morning. It's okay. Piecemeal. It's how I'm living my life. <laughs> um, did I put my, yeah, I put protein powder in my protein shake. I am winning. I am winning at life. Um, school colors day. Did I, yep, I'm wearing earrings. They're purple. <laughs> I hope your day is great. I hope my day is great. I hope we all have a great day. And I will see you at the end of it. Hello. <clears throat> it is after school on Thursday. We made it. I even got a sticker. So we're doing okay. Um, plus tomorrow is Friday. What? One week in October almost down? That is crazy. I have a bit of a headache, but on more exciting news, better news, yes. If you noticed that thing getting a little dull lately, I replaced the batteries this morning. Yes, I did. <laughs> that was something off my to-do list. And look, I just turned it off. Let me see if... I don't know if this shows up really well on, no, it really doesn't. So it says trick or treat and it's a little kitty cat in a costume, there you go. Yeah, so I did that and wait for it, wait for it. These are my, these are my pluses today. I also put that one in, it says eat, sleep, teach. I had it up a long time ago, um, <clears throat> a long time ago this summer before I put up my welcome back. But, and then I took that one down to put up my welcome back and now that one's back. So we had honestly a pretty decent day. I finished a lesson on um, the slides that I bought. I think I told you about them, but I'm not 100% sure. So I will put them right here. These lessons are fantastic for um, just a little extra, structure, I guess I would say, when you are, sorry, um, when you are doing like a mini lesson. I tend to only do mini lessons. I'm going to set this down for just a brief second um, to fix a paper here. Um, I tend to work mostly in mini lessons because that's um, the about the chunk of time that I can keep the focus that I need to have. So that is what I do. Um, anyway, we talked about prediction. We're still, that was this week's mini lesson and I split up the slides into three or four days um, depending on, uh, you know, how intensive the amount of talking that I have to do is. So I'm sorry, I'm trying to do all of the things and and they're not working out very well. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done now. I was just trying to clean up, okay? That's all. Um, I have to dust before conferences. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, look at the dust. Isn't that delightful? Hold, please. Oh, 
Okay, they just had to do an all call for a meeting. Um, anywho, prediction, we worked on our poisonous puffer fish and we finished up our other passage um, in our other groups, which was the sluggish seahorses. I am learning quite a bit about ocean animals that I did not know and that makes me happy. So, um, did you know that puffer fish contain uh, enough, I'm gonna go read the name of the actual poison. This is the passage I'm talking about that we are reading. Enough tetrodotoxin, tetrodotoxin to kill 30 people. That's crazy, right? Yes, that is the face I made when I read it the first time too. Hold please. And another announcement for another meeting. Kind of glad I don't have any right now because I'm a little bit tired. Um, I think I might. No, I don't really want to stop at a store on the way home. I was going to stop and get a couple things, but honestly, I'm a little tired. <laughs> Every time I say that, I think of the Tom Hanks in um, Shipwreck or what was that one? Castaway. Um, I'm a little tired now. I think I'm going to go home. <laughs> Yes, I think I'm gonna go home and read a book. Um, I am still listening to The Women by um, Kristen Hanna. And the reason I'm still, come on, go off, there we go. The reason I'm still listening to that one is because I put it on hold um, so that I could finish one or two that came available at the library. So when you when you go to put one on hold from the library, when it shows up, you have the option of either saying, yes, borrow now, or <clears throat> put me back in line for, uh, I think it's a week. And so I wanted to listen to, I don't even remember what books they were, but I wanted to listen to them. So I did, and now I'm back to The Women by Kristen Hanna. And it's a very good book. Anyway, I'm going to go listen to that on my ride home, and that's about all I have to say for today, but tomorrow's Friday, and I'll see you then. Good morning. <laughs> Happy Friday. I have just put the wrong, I put my other drink in here, so it's going to be, it's going to be a day. I'm starting out with a 7 a.m. meeting that if I don't leave in the next two minutes, I will be late for, so I'm just doing things differently today. It's going to be fine. I don't even know why I just did that. I should have. Anyway, today, today is Friday and, <laughs> you know, it's bound to goof up one of these times. At least it didn't go in my coffee. That would have been weird. Um, have a meeting <clears throat> this morning, a rather stressful meeting. So, woo! Um, <clears throat> my protein shake has taken on a whole new flavor today. It's going to be grapefruit flavored. Um... And that's cool. <sighs> Regular day as far as curriculum goes. We're doing our Friday stuffs. And um, we're just really keeping on doing the same thing. This might explode. I hope it doesn't. Hold, please. Well, because it's fizzy. I was being a little extra there. It did not, in fact, explode. But it might be real fizzy. Maybe this is a new thing. Maybe this was an an accident that's like gonna lead to something delicious. <laughs> Love those kind. We're wearing our dear tiny human shirts today and I have a massage after school. I'm so excited. Anyway, I've gotta come home and clean some things. I couldn't find the shirt. It was in the last place I ever would have expected hanging on a hanger. I looked in all the mount laundry piles. It was nowhere. Anyway, bye honey, I love you. Um, I had weird dreams last night uh, uh, about teaching. Anyway, it's stress over this meeting. I'm gonna have to boogie. It is now 7.23, so gotta go. I will see you after school. Hello and happy Friday, end of day, I might add. I'm gonna take this mail back over here. Hope I don't drop it. Um, we had a good day, we really did. We had a couple of weird things go on, but I mean, really, truly, the kids, they seem to be kind of getting it. I love this part where they get things. Hold on, I'm gonna set you down for just a minute. So we <clears throat> started the day off with a bang. <laughs> 
literally. Um, we had a practice lockdown drill and oh, these guys do such a good job putting everything away almost all the days. That is so good. Um, we had a practice lockdown. Kids did fine. We, I had told them ahead of time, um, I don't know if I told both classes, but I had told my homeroom anyway that we were going to have one sometime soon, but we did not know when, just that it was going to be a practice coming up. Because the first one, I, I saw the, it was palpable, the shift in the air when they came over the loudspeaker and said, this is, uh, we're in lockdown, however they worded it. Um, the kids, they really, and it just makes me get very emotional. They really, pa uh, not panic, they just tense, tense. And I just hate that that's part of their lives. It just stinks really bad that anybody would ever have to worry, you know. Anyway, so we did that. They did great. <clears throat> the rest of our day was just our norm, our quizzes and all the finishing up of Friday work. Today was National Golf Lovers Day. So <laughs> that went over like a lead balloon, but actually no, they were it was write your opinion, do you think this day <clears throat> should have its own holiday? And a lot of them I told them that Mr. Butler and Katie Butler liked to uh golf. Then it was kind of cute. Well, I think it should be a national day because the Butler family likes to golf. <laughs> and I told them that I was a pretty much a star at driving the golf cart. So, <laughs> you know, anyway, good day. Now I get to head out and get a massage. You know how much I love a massage. Who wouldn't, right? They're just the best. So I'm going to get going. Um, got some plans this week and I get to see my grandbaby. I'm so excited. He's coming over tomorrow at some point. I said, don't you guys have stuff you need to go do? Bring me that baby. So they're gonna, and I'm so excited. I just absolutely adore, love this little boy like crazy and I love spending time with him. So one thing I didn't say this morning and I see it now, look what I found on Shein. I'm wearing robot earrings for the wild robot. And the kids said, well, that doesn't look exactly like Roz. And some of the other ones were going, yeah, but it's the idea of them. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you guys get me. So anyway, Sheehan, if you're reading the wild robot, um, these aren't, you know, her, but they kind of could be. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already so that you don't miss any uploads. And I will see you next week. Bye.